Hey, Cody Shade here with you with Ibex, and today the 23 RLDS new for 2023. We've had a lot of questions and comments about doing an in depth tour, and today I'm going to show you all the details and what sets this 23 RLDS apart from anything else you've seen before. Now you can see from the outside, the 23 RLDS represents the largest uh, living style coach that we have. It's a non-bunk, it has a dedicated master suite, which I'll show you inside. And this is in our eight foot wide lineup. So anything that you see in the 19 series is in our seven wide lineup. Anything that you see in our 20 series is a conventional eight, eight foot wide lineup. You can see at the front, it does feature our standard diamond plate uh, front rock protection. We've got our brand new 2023 graphics package that really set the unit off. Uh, of course, we still carry over our 60 by 22 panoramic front window. Like all of our eight foot wide conventional units, it does feature two 20 pound bottles, not just one 20 pound bottle, but two 20 pound bottles, a power tongue jack. We often get the question, Cody, why do you guys use a 20 pound bottle? Some of your competition uses a 30 pound bottle. The 20 pound bottle represents a big convenience for, for our consumer. As campers ourselves, we know when you run out of LP gas, it's easy to exchange the bottle at a gas station or a hardware store. When you have a 30 pound LP tank, you must get that tank filled. It's very difficult to exchange in most places. The 20 pound tank, Heck, most people have a couple extra tanks laying around in their garage. We include two of them for you on the front of every eight foot wide Ibex. Now, you can see for 2023, we've got this beautiful exterior graphics package. We carry over our geometric design from 2022, but we do add this beautiful big ghosted X on the outside so that you can tell that you're dealing with a brand new 2023 Ibex. Our standard one, one touch push button awning is an oversized awning on every unit, but especially a unit like this that's just over 27 feet, you have a huge outdoor living space. Imagine doubling your living footprint. You've got all the inside space to live. Now on a unit like this, you have a huge exterior space to live. You can see on the outside, we do have a great big pass-through storage and I want to mention one important thing. You know, we have featured for the second season our standard outside bush kitchen. If you're looking for an Ibex or in the market for an RV, the exterior bush kitchen is still a standard item. It's not a $1,500 extra item for an outside kitchen. It's a standard item on Ibex. And this year, you've got a 30-foot fresh water spray hose to spray off your unit, spray off your pets, anything that you need, you can spray off with this 30 foot spray hose on the outside of the unit. You also have this beautiful uh, griddle style cooktop, this prep station, but here's the beauty of the whole thing. It fits nicely on the side of the coach. So often today we see a baggage door on the front or a baggage door on the rear that's taking up precious cargo area, not with Ibex. With Ibex, it's as easy as popping these items off. You throw them inside or, or into a pass-through storage in a much smaller footprint, and you still maximize your storage. So think about that. When you're looking you know, for a unit and you know you wanna have an outside kitchen, when that kitchen sits inside your unit, it's taking up very precious real estate. Not with Ibex, it sits on the outside of the unit. It's ready to use. Where do we do most of our camping and most of the cooking? If you're like me, you're hanging out outside for most of your camping experience. It starts right here. This is the center of, uh, of the camp, is right here at the camp kitchen. Underneath the, the cook station on this model, you can see, um, as with every Ibex, we feature standard aluminum wheels. We don't use these uh, cheap steel wheels. These actually feature uh, all-terrain all-terrain Goodyear Duratrac rubber uh, that's touching the road. Now I want you to think about this. 
only one piece of this puzzle. If you're a, a previous RV owner or a brand new RV owner, uh, both ways, I wanna tell you that the most important piece to this puzzle, if you're towing a trailer, is the piece that's touching the street, okay? And that piece needs to be a very high quality, uh, uh, high quality material, and with us, we use the best all-terrain tires. Um, these are Goodyear all-terrain tires, and that's just one small detail of what, uh, what sets us apart from many of the other options out there. Now, when you see Ibex, I want you to think of beast mode. Uh, for more information on beast mode, which this trailer has, click the link below, and we can't wait to show you a little bit about what sets beast mode apart. Whether your travels are taking you off the highway or on the highway, if you're looking for a comfortable tow with uh, less bucking and less swaying than you're used to with standard style suspension systems, you have to take an Ibex for a test drive. There's no question about it. I've towed one myself almost a thousand miles. I can tell you in the first 10 miles, it blew me away. I was blown away at how smooth the tow was. This features not only a spring behind each wheel, but also a, uh, a strut behind each wheel. It's an axle design that's completely independent, and it's the only product on the market that's gonna give you the smoothest tow out there. So that's very, um, very rare in this size and weight segment for a unit that's under 6,000 pounds to have an independent suspension system, uh, but that is definitely something to look for if you're in the market for an Ibex. Now back here, a couple of other standard items that really kind of set us apart. One is this exterior solid step. You can see the 23 RLDS features a triple solid step with a nice big step platform for ingress and egress. I wanna show you this friction hinge entrance door. When you open the door of an Ibex, it's got weight to it. It feels like it has a little bit of uh, uh, of weight and it's a friction hinge is what you're feeling. There's no plastic piece that connects it to the sidewall that's gonna break off after the first use. There's no little metal wire hanger there that, that's gonna pull out of the sidewall and create a moisture problem for your sidewall. This is a friction hinge entrance door and it's standard on every Ibex. It's not just the things that you can see, although we're focused on cosmetics, ergonomics, and the aesthetic of the Ibex, but it's also the things that you can't see. It's the construction, it's the running gear. Um, I walked you through the running gear. I'll give you a brief overview of what sets Ibex apart on construction. The construction of an Ibex is an all aluminum frame. It's a welded aluminum frame. If we were to rip these sidewalls off of here, you would be left with an aluminum roll cage. Those are welded together, okay? The whole thing is welded together and it's wrapped in an Asdel composite material to give you the longest lasting and lightest weight towable product on the market. On top of that, you can consider it the icing on the cake is our 1000 series gel coat fiberglass. You hear the term gel coat a lot. What does gel coat mean? Gel coat means that there's a sun protectant on the outside of the fiberglass. And that sun protectant is gonna help keep the weathering and the yellowing off of your unit and reflect that back towards the sun. That's really important. If you've seen older units at the campground or going down the road, they have this yellowing fiberglass on the outside. They have lost their protectant or they didn't have protectant. On the outside of an Ibex, standard equipment, gel coat fiberglass, Asdel composite material, aluminum framing, and block foam insulation. One thing that we hang our hat on at Ibex is an extended season camper, okay? With our insulation, uh, heated holding tanks, okay? We have 12 volt tank pad heaters on our holding tanks, as well as an enclosed termination system. You are not gonna find a camper in this size and weight segment that's an extended season camper. Whether you are camping early in the spring in a March, April time frame, or you wanna camp into October or November, you have made an investment in a product and you wanna maximize the usage of it, Ibex is gonna let you do that. Now follow me inside and let me show you a couple of special things in here. 
We are inside the Ibex 23 RLDS, and let me tell you, this might be the finest living space of any Ibex that we have. You can see we've got this beautiful, big, oversized sofa. It's wrapped in our multi-purpose vinyl material. Um, this is in our brand new for 2023 cinder interior and exterior theme. So if you're out there looking, look for that. Our cinder, our new cinder theme, uh, we think has turned out beautifully. Uh, it's got a very luxurious feel to it. Um, and inside just has uh, a great theme of bringing the outside inside. Um, you can see we've got kind of like this dark walnut on our TV trays that are integrated into the sofa. We also have our butcher block countertops throughout the unit with uh, featuring a live edge. Um, but something like this sofa even, you've got this reclining sofa option. This is a great place to kick back after a long day um, full of adventure. You've got your entertainment center right here at your fingertips, but big enough for a whole family designed for um, maximum two, three people. This unit does not have bunks. Um, it's, uh, it's called an RLDS for, for a reason. It's a rear living unit. Um, but this living area in the back is a really kind of nice, wide open and wide layout. And I wanna show you a couple other things that kind of set this apart. We do feature, as I mentioned, that live edge butcher block. As with every Ibex, we do include an 18 inch round deep bowl sink. Um, you've got your pull down spring loaded black matte faucet sprayer. Uh, you've got this great, people often ask us, what is this little storage space for in the front? This is a spice rack, although it does hold a conventional 12 ounce can. It's got this, um, uh, it, it's got this netting in front of it that will hold the, the cans in when you're in transit. Plenty of 110 volt outlets. Of course, when you're traveling on the road and you want to tune into local television, all Ibex feature a 12 volt capable TV. These run off of 12 volts so you can power it with your battery. Um, you know, talking about the power system inside of the Ibex product, every power, or every Ibex comes with a power system that includes a 200 watt solar panel, a 2000 watt inverter and a 30 amp controller. So this is a very user friendly kit that, that comes out of the box as an expandable piece. You could easily add up to 600 watts of solar with this kit with two more panels, but this isn't just your run of the mill average solar kit. The 2000 watt inverter is attached to all of these interior 110 volt outlets. So whether you're on the grid or off the grid, you can plug in your household items and still get plenty of power that way. That's very important. Uh, but check out the countertop space, just a ton of, of extra storage countertop space. We've got some big giant windows. You know, these are great in the kitchen area. They open all the way up so you can pass food items inside and outside. Um, but you know, we do try to maximize the storage area. Look at how big these doors are. You've got a ton of overhead storage in a unit like this. And with all of our eight foot wide Ibex, you do feature a three burner cooktop. In our seven wide series, we feature the two burner cooktop. In our eight wides, um, we have upgraded that to the three burner cooktop. This is really nice and heavy duty. This isn't cheap chintzy material. This is a suburban product, really nice and heavy duty. It does feature our integrated convection microwave down below. This is in the same spot your conventional microwave would be, but that convection microwave does everything a standard microwave would, but with the added benefits of uh, a convection microwave, which behave more like a standard style oven. As you come through from the galley to the bedroom, you can see our very large 10 cubic foot uh, 12 volt refrigerator. Check out, just like in every Ibex, you've got your central vacuum system. Um, you've got your external spray uh, or, or your uh, hose port for your vacuum system um, that, that would include uh, an attachment to be able to uh, suck up any individual little items and just, you know, a ton of storage everywhere in this unit. Um, every Ibex also features a safe box, and that's something that's located in here. 
Um, but check out, if you're on a sales lot, check out and see if you can find in each Ibex, we have a safe box that's bolted to the floor or bolted to a secure space, uh, secure area, so that you have a space where you can put valuables or firearms or anything that you carry with you that needs to be locked away, wallets on your adventure. Uh, but that is something, again, very customer oriented little feature, something we include in all of our products but it's a great little camper friendly addition that gives you a little additional peace of mind. Now, as we come into the bedroom, I wanna point out a couple of things. This is not your average run of the mill, lightweight bedroom. It does feature, you know, as I said before, our cinder interior, which has this really soft plush um, finishes on all of our soft goods, the bedspread and the pillows. You have individually controlled lighting. In here, of course, you can see this beautiful cool blue, cool Ibex blue backlighting in all of our overheads and our side wardrobes. Um, there's also USB charging plugs on both sides of the bed, as well as 110 volt outlets. You do have a ton of storage underneath your Ibex bed. But the greatest thing about this bed is that this is a true 60 by 80 bed. And, you know, we've been saying this for many years, but we were one of the first to put uh, the 60 by 80 bed as standard equipment. There's a lot of beds out there that are still a 74 inch bed. They're a little bit tougher to buy components for, whether it's a mattress or, um, you know, sh bed sheets or comforters, anything like that. So tried and true Ibex 60 by 80 beds across the board. Uh, the 23 RLDS stands apart as one of the, um, uh, one of the best rear living coaches under 6,000 pounds. Uh, that's out there. So, you know, with a lot of these standard features that are normally optional, you know, it's going to save you money in the long run because we're not nickel and diming you for options or for a larger refrigerator, the enclosed termination system we talked about on the outside, uh, larger appliances like a 15,000 BTU air conditioner, all that stuff when you're looking for an Ibex is completely standard equipment. We'll finish up here in the dinette. You can see as far as living space goes, we have had a lot of questions and comments. How big is that dinette? You can see, you know, inside you've got a full size interior height in the slide out and you could easily fit four or five full size adults in this dinette. You've got this beautiful new decorative lighting for 2023. Great place to hang out and play cards, have a meal. But if you have any more questions about Ibex or this 23 RLDS, check us out at forestriverinc.com slash Ibex or visit our social channels. We update them up to the minute, okay? We try to update them every day, but the latest updates, new stuff, that uh, new features and new items that we post, we put it on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or contact your local dealer for more information.